Okay. Hello, this is a catalog flip through. This catalog is from, sorry, I'm just covering the back because this one has my address, October 2018. So this is interesting. They sent the holiday ones out so early still. I feel like that happens too often, right? Ari, Ari, the cat's helping now, okay? You guys have to accept her presence. He's going to be part of these. So this one's a little thing about gift giving, and this is the family pajama set, which I kind of wanted, although my family wouldn't wear it with me. I know, it sounds really sad when I say it that way. This holiday dress, I adored. Also, advertising the Create Your Own line here a bit. As you can see, I hope you're not distracted by Ari's pure joy by now. So here's Luciana, they're advertising her for the holiday, and they do a slightly different one than before. I like that they sew her Space Camp Wing certificate, and just like a different composite than the last two. This one's quite similar, but it focuses more on her spacesuit, which I think this is the biggest spread it's had for a bit. Yeah, this is. And then it also sews her... I think this is her stellar outfit or something else. Starry Night outfit. So this is her stellar outfit. I really love this one, by the way. I wish I did a review on it. So there's all of her other sets. This is such a cool little collage for me. Very nostalgic. Say farewell to Tenny and... And Logan at an American Girl store. So this one's talking about a retirement again. This is only like... This might even be the same month as the very last issue I just so As the last one I sewed you. So this one's talking about that again. But we just have a slightly different spread with different formatting. So basically, she won't be available in the stores by the, by the time of New Year's. Or certain outlets. And I think that there's a maximum. So you're still available online, though, I think. For a little bit longer after this. This is the most large advertising I have in a catalog of the Create Your Own line. At the time, <laughs> Ari, what are you doing? So this is what some of the original meat outfits and wigs looked like. I remember a lot of people were really hyped about this pixie cut, Ari. <laughs> I'm just going to move a little bit. Let's get it out. Your tail's real twitchy. Uh, so I thought that was really cool to look at. The Truly Me Sexton. I think this is the same lineup as the last one, just a different advertisement. I swear that girl, like... Really matches the doll somehow. It's really cute. Maybe, I don't know where they find these girls that actually look like the dolls, because I rarely actually see people that look like Julie Mies. This is the RC Cars original is incarnation. And there's a little one about some travel wear at the time, which I always I adored this, by the way. The little hotel in greater detail. So this is the outside. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And here's a little kitchen advertisements and baking sets. I loved the pizza set as a kid and the sushi, and I still love them. <laughs> Here's some more where we see a little bit of advertising for some of the pajamas they had available at the time. And of course, the this bed, which has been in pretty much every catalog flip through you've seen of mine. This next section is a little different. Um, these outfits were newer at the time, and they're also advertising the ones where you make your own suit again. I remember that I really, really wanted this outfit, but I never got it because it's way too expensive <laughs> for the mix and mats. I love the dress still. I also really liked this shirt. I wanted it for Sage at the time. And I thought if I ever got Tenny that this would look really good on her too. Also, I think it would look good on Gabriella if you have her. But yeah, I remember those so clearly. This is the ones where you made your own clothes. I know they're expensive, but I always wanted to get one of these shirts made and I never did. And maybe I eventually will. Who knows? Here is the athletics line in a different light. This is a really nostalgic view. I really love this ballet outfit still. I say that every time, but it's really gorgeous. And here is something advertising. So this is the little an advertising for the gaming setup, and they also strongly they're also just advertising some gift cards and stuff here, and also selling all the pets they had available at the time. But this has sort of been seen in some of my other ones. I remember that dress. Oh my god, I love it. But that's not the point. So this is really interesting. There's a few... This is some newer school stuff. Wish I'd got that dress before I retired. And this is a really cute spread for the historical girlies. I wish this outfit was still available. It must have retired relatively recently. Now I'm thinking about it. That's sad. Or later in 2018. So we have Mary Ellen's page, which is a little different for once. We have... It shows some different outfits, like this little set with the Christmas ones is really cute. And this one right here in the camper is also quite cute. My cat is tired of me. <laughs> There's some more of Nindea stuff where we also see some newer stuff. 
which is cool. This is really cute. I think that's retired. Of course, we see kits where I think this is new for her. Yeah, this outfit. I don't know. This is her Christmas outfit from 2018. This must have been the last one of the last times they released before they cubed her girl. I think they cubed her like a year later. We have Rebecca just with all this stuff. And this outfit was new at the time. I remember it coming out. This is her premiere outfit. Which is really neat. We have Melody who also... They're just advertising once you already have. I think she actually still has this outfit available in her collection, if I'm correct. Which is neat. Here's Julie's. Most of this stuff isn't available that we see here nowadays. I think she has mostly a newer roster of things. But this is really cute. This egg chair. This was a MacGuffin item of mine for years. I never actually bought it. I couldn't... It's expensive as hell. <laughs> Here's the Bitty Babies. I don't see any difference in this section. They're still the same six Bitty Babies. Of course, there's now a holiday outfit, which is real cute. And then there's the Welly Whisters, which looks pretty much the same as the normal advertisements, just smaller this time. Also, like, this child looks almost albino to me. Because <laughs> they were, like, blonde eyebrows and eyelashes. Here's the set. I think that these pajamas might be new. <laughs> Newer at the time, and they're pretty cute, actually. Oh, that's actually really cute. And then there's some winter stuff, which was new at the time as well. Which, honestly, if I had... If this, some of this stuff was still available, I'd get it for Gwen, because I think this is really cute. I think this is mostly retired. I'm... You already saw the back here at the beginning. I have to, uh... Cover something. There. And that's the back of it. Showing off Lu Miss Luciana. Oh, sorry, girly. Like, comment, and subscribe if you think the grumpy cat's cute. Ari's always grumpy, though. Just give her a break. <laughs> Bye!